All right, so we've got another Tesla update. We got update 2022.20.18, which puts us on FSD beta 10.69.2.3. We are running Tesla Vision entirely, so everything is based on cameras and uh, the neural network after that. Cabin camera is paying attention to you now, so that's this little camera up right here. Uh, now it's going to give you warnings if you're not paying attention. Before it was very, very quick to let you know if you were on your phone. So I wonder what kind of new updates there are as well, including things like seatbelt enhancement. So the cameras are going to pay attention if it sees a car's coming up, an accident's about to happen. It's going to tighten your seatbelt a little bit in advance. But let's go ahead and take this out on the road and see how it does. We're starting right away. There is a truck coming way in the distance to the left. I'm glad it didn't wait for it. That was just a two-way stop. So here, let's see how it handles this. I need to be making a left, but it always likes to veer over to the right for some reason. Yeah, see, it started correctly by going nice and left, and now it's pushing over to the right. It's actually good that he's also in the middle, because last time I was here, the car was properly to the left, and uh, my full self-driving wanted to go around him. So it opted to get into the slower lane here. Very reasonable reaction time. It went as soon as it turned green. Very reasonable acceleration. Um, I'm keeping up with this Lexus here. And as you can see, traffic behind me, like, fell pretty far back. Okay, so it says it's going to want to change lanes. I don't know why. Well, it changed its mind. It didn't know why either. Oh, that guy stepped on my lane. And to be honest, I think I might have stepped on his a little bit too. Yeah, so that's why he did that, because he wanted to get over to my to the right, and my car sensed it and definitely braked. I'm not sure if I really stepped on his lane. So what I'm noticing is it's picking up a lot quicker. It used to hesitate before on green lights anytime I would go across an intersection. Now it seems to be a little bit more assertive, no hesitation. I like the following distance more. Is it just me? I feel like the following distance is much more reasonable. I'm keeping up with the person in front of me instead of falling too far back, but at the same time I'm not, you know, tailgating them or slamming on the brakes at the very last moment. This feels good. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I took over. I don't know how I would have handled it, but it looked like it was going for the wrong lane. I would have let it just try, but because there was somebody in my blind spot, I didn't want to risk it. So C minus on that. These lanes merge up ahead here, so it's going to want to change lanes very soon. Uh, I stepped on the accelerator here. I cheated a little bit. I felt like it was going to continue braking. All right, that was sort of questionable. So a lot of things just happened. Uh, number one, I didn't think it was going to make it over in time, so I manually signaled for it to move over instead. Number two, it stayed on the right for a really long period of time until those uh, solid white bike lanes appeared. And then number three, it chose to brake, which I think was the correct move. But if I had cut somebody off, then there's a good chance I would have forced them to rear end me, or at least, you know, brake checked them a little bit. So overall, I think it ended up doing the correct thing, but it was so close to the edge the whole time um, that it kind of sketched me out. I didn't feel comfortable about that.
Yeah, that's pretty reasonable acceleration. So it's not very consistent on the braking, it kind of feathers it a little bit, but overall I like what it does with its stopping distance. Alright, well that's a fun turn of events. Hood latch sensor requires service, schedule service. I'm going to keep my hands on the wheel here very carefully because we're going by a bicyclist. It sees him, look at that, so it decelerated, it moved to the left. And you're going to tell me Tesla's hit pedestrians. I've always noticed it's very, very, very cautious with cyclists and pedestrians. Not overly cautious. Uh, sometimes it can be overly cautious, but that was very reasonable to me. Anyway, this turn of events here, hood latch sensor. The only issue I've ever had with this car that I can recall right now since I got it uh, was like 15, 20,000 miles in, my hood latch started freaking out. So it would look like it was opening and closing constantly, which made the graphic look funny, like my car would just flap its hood. So I took it in for service, it was handled under warranty, and it was all good. The issue went away, and it looks like it's come back now about another 20, 25,000 miles later, so... Seems every 25,000 miles I'm gonna have to get this hood serviced. Whoa, we're... St okay, okay. We're fine. So because somebody had to make a left here, obviously traffic in front of me had to break. I was a little concerned about uh, traffic behind me rear-ending me. That BMW got a little bit too close for comfort there. And uh, now they're leaving a huge gap, I think, because they might have gotten a little bit startled. All right, I feel like it's gonna break too hard here with this guy turning left. Nope, it did okay. Okay, let's see if it lowers the speed limit for construction here. It did. Good job. Ah, there used to be cones here, but it looks like both lanes have now officially reopened. And we're merging. You know, it handled that decently. Usually I don't like the way it maneuvers itself through lane merges. Ends up overcompensating and flying left and right, but that was pretty realistic. That was pretty natural. All right, we're coming across the T stop, always stop here. Um, usually it approaches the intersection a little bit too apprehensively, and I don't like that. Let's see if it's gonna be a little bit more assertive today. All right, so someone behind me wants to turn right. My car is not really letting him. Oh, I, I took over to move to the left. Yeah, I'll re-engage. Because look how far to the right it wants to go for no reason. Here, I'll... Ah, I feel bad for taking over, but I want to let people drive. Oh, it, okay. Yeah, that was fine. Okay. For a second, I thought it cut that person off, but... So a few things happen in that intersection that I want to mention. The first thing is that my car always wants to center itself before approaching an intersection. Doesn't matter if it's turning left, doesn't matter if it's turning right. If there's no lanes indicating where it should be, the car always wants to center itself. And that's not good because in that case, like in a real example, you saw some cars were trying to go right and some cars were trying to go left. So in order to make sure traffic is flowing nicely, we want to make sure that those people can move through. That's why I had to take over. When I re-engaged it, it started, it began to stop for the stop sign. And in my opinion, it stopped way too short of the stop sign. I didn't realize it was stopping for the stop sign. I just thought it was hesitating to accelerate. So I tapped on the accelerator to nudge it closer to the line of the stop sign. I think what I did by doing that is I actually told it you can go ahead and go. So it felt like it didn't come to a complete stop. It just kind of pushed through. And I think I was fortunate, I could be wrong. It could be Tesla Vision that saw that the guy to my left was signaling to the right and that we could both go at the same time. 
but I feel like I was just lucky that he was turning right and I essentially cut him off by giving my car permission to go through by tapping on the accelerator. I'll see if I can replicate that at some other point, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have another opportunity. All right, let's see how it handles this. This is the one that it always struggles with to make a left because it doesn't get in the left turn lane in time. So it goes from suicide lane to left turn lane. I should be signaling and going through right now. See how late it does it? But this is, I know the paint is, is peeled, essentially removed here, but this is a long solid white line. As you can see here, this is a long solid white line. So it should have gotten over before. If there were people behind me who made it to this lane first, and this happened to me the first, you could watch the first video where this happened. If someone's in my blind spot and I got a green light over there, my car stopped right where that CRV is to try to make it into this lane. And I basically almost caused an accident. So I don't think it's improved on that at all. I think we've just been lucky with how traffic's been flowing today. new audio setup today so last video I added the mount for the phone In this video I upgraded my audio setup so hopefully you can hear me a little bit better uh, but yeah at this rate I figure by like video six or seven we should be up there with uh, Hollywood It makes those stops very smooth and comfortable for a passenger, the way it eases me into a stop. But I almost don't want it to do that. I, I want it to go from, from that two miles an hour to the zero miles an hour a little bit more abruptly so that it's just more definitive when my turn is. Communication, right, that's key. I want other drivers to know what my car is trying to do. No signal. Still hasn't fixed that. And <laughs> now it signals. I almost took over to manually make that light, but I figured I should let autopilot do its thing. I kind of regret it. We're going to be here for a while. There we go. All right, stay left. I always get nervous here, but it does a good job. Because there's no marking on which one is the left most left turn lane and which one's the right left turn lane. Feeling a hesitation and acceleration. There we go. It's better now. So it's that left turn red arrow that I think was making it hesitate. You can feel it again as it's letting off on the throttle here. All right, the freeway merge test. Let's see how it does. Good, kept it nice and tight. So far, so good. Should be getting over now because this lane's about to exit. Should be getting over now because this lane's about to exit. Whoop. Oh, that was my fault. That was my fault. I set a waypoint right there. So, of course, it didn't do it. That was my fault. I ruined the freeway test. I'm sorry. Dislike, unsub. Make sure to flame me in the comments. I do need to swing by one for whoa, debris in the road. Okay, I didn't swerve at all for that trash bag. I probably should have a little bit. Uh, granted, it wasn't in front of me. It wasn't actually blocking me, but I worry that my car didn't even notice. Oh, how's it gonna handle this? I'm impressed. 
okay, I've always been nervous with these sorts of merges that my car's not going to notice till the last moment that the merge is happening, but it actually handled that really well and it braked in advance. A little bit of a precarious situation. I see brake lights up ahead, we're coming to a stop. I got a motorcycle splitting lanes, okay. Oh, that wasn't a good time to change lane, Civic. And we're braking. Okay. I'm applying pressure. See, it's weird that it throttles the brake. Oh, come on. It feels so silly when it does that. All right, we're actually going to be taking this next exit. What's with this swinging it does before the exit? If you hear a buzzing, that's my battery preconditioning because I'm navigating to a supercharger right now. Oh, I took over because it was about to get into the wrong lane. At least I think it was, felt like it was going to. It's so weird with its signal use and it's going from left to right. That guy got a little bit close to my lane so I felt it break pretty hard. Yeah, because of course he wants the right lane. I used to live here, and the apartment's just up the street. That was pretty well done. Whoa, I'm not I'm not doing anything. That's all. Okay. All right. That was a little sketchy. Why is it signaling it's coming to a complete stop here? It sees the pedestrian in blue, so it was yielding to the pedestrian. It sees this as a turn. Okay. Yeah, I will take over from here and I'll go ahead and charge the car for just a little bit. That concludes today's video. Not too much different. Uh, I did notice some subtle differences if I'm not mistaken, particularly with how it utilizes some lanes, how it approaches some intersections, but largely it's much of the same. Uh, does it pass the grandpa test? Would I trust it to drive my grandpa around by himself? Nope, not even a little bit, but it's still pretty cool and I do still love it.